power of praying. It's unbelievable power which is not even understood, the power of praying. The Holy Torah said in our parasha, Parashat Shmini, and Aaron lifted his hands towards the people and he blessed them. Then he descended from having performed the service of the sin offering. And Rabbi Shlomo Akoen Miradmesk explained that in time that Aaron would bless Klal Israel, who would not even remember the sins of Israel, as he said, and he went down from doing the sins. And this is a tremendous learning from each one of us. In time that a person go to Daven, the even inclination try to cool the person and say to him, you fool with sins and wrongdoings, how dare you go and pray? But the truth is that Hashem hear all praying. And this is learned also from the words, his hands, which in the Torah it's written, missing the letter Yud, to teach that even if you're not entirely purified, you got blemishes in the power of your davening to purify, purify yourself and make you a whole, holy. Change Yad, one hand, to two hands, Yadav. The power of davening is in the hand of every person. And Rabbi Steinman, Zichon Levacha, said, the Gemara in Brachot said and teach us that if a person say, I'm not going to say a bracha, bench on the cup they offer him, he's going to get punished and his day and life going to become shortened. And what's the reason? Because he refused to bench, he doesn't say a bracha to the owner of the house. And the Torah didn't spoke about a righteous guy or a pious person, but each one of us, all the Jews, to, to teach that it's in the ability of each one of us to bless the others and the world. Once a certain lady, she was barren, didn't have kids, she came to the Magid Mimazotish. He was the town, one of the Talmidim of the Baal Shem Tov, Zichon Levracha. And she asked that the Rav that was known to make miracles through his davening, to daven for her sake, so she's going to have a boy. The Rav said, no problem, but the cost for this davening is 250,000 gold coins. The woman screamed, what? That's a fortune. The Rabbi said, this is the deal. Take or leave. She was able to collect 200,000. The Rav said to her, no, we spoke about a quarter, 250,000. The woman became upset and she said, what? The honorable Rav, I can manage without you. I'm going to dive in directly to Hashem and he going to give me and grant me with a boy. The Magidim Mazati said, right now, she's going to have a boy because she's going to daven from the depth of her heart and Hashem not going to bring her davening for vain. Some of us forget that there's the ability of daven. They're going only to rabbis. So the rabbi is going to daven for their own sake and they think this is enough. They don't realize that Hashem wants his children asked to daven and speak with him directly. The Gemara in Brachot teaches us that six things King Chizkiyahu did one of them he hid the book of medicine and the rabbis said that he did very good and Rashi explained why he did it so people are gonna ask for mercy let's try to imagine God forbid Baminan a young boy is in emergency care critical conditions the doctor gave up the family are around the bed got no ability to do nothing and all of a sudden one of them remember there's the medicine book let's go to King Hizkiyahu they run to the king it's life and death. So the guards allow them to go in. King, king, the scream, give us the book of medicine. The king says, I apologize. I hate it. It's not, it's not in my hands anymore. Nobody can get it. And the family scream, but this is life and death. Have mercy, king. And the king says, I, got, I don't have it anymore. Finished. Go and daven and your daven is going to be accepted. And Rabbi Mordechai Druk, Zichon Levracha said, what? Is the king is cruel, unbelievable, cannot be accepted, but rather King Hezekiah came to teach us, each one of us, that's davening from the depth of the heart, with fully believing that Hashem is going to listen to us, it's 100% success. Be'ezrat Hashem, in turbulence time, in, as our days, and every day doesn't make a difference, each trouble, small or big, Daven to Hashem with full belief and from the depth of the heart. And Hashem gonna grant us. 
וביוטיפול שבת, נחת רוח, פסח שמח, כלל ישראל, בשורות וישועות to all and entire כלל ישראל. Thank you.